Oh, can you hear those drums now? <laughs> and this continues to sound as a sort of drone, which is, you know, it's, it's the oscillator doing exactly what it's uh, it should do, because it's obviously got a note on the command and, and there's no envelopes involved. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, while I'm just sat here with all the lights and the cameras on, I'll just do my introduction. So this video might be a bit, here's Mark just playing with stuff. So this is a pencil tin. Um, with some sponges inside it, um, uh, with with two contact mics inside it. So this is today's experiment. It's, it's terrible weather outside, it's pouring down with rain. So it's a day for playing with uh, contact mics. Um, the idea was to build some kind of input-output device or stroke double microphone device. So in the vid in this in this video that will follow is me just. Um, playing with this idea a little bit of the build um, obviously it's pretty simple build um, this won't be a very polished um, video I don't think um, but more out more I mean the purpose is just to get some ideas from from you guys um, is there a, is there a better way to use this more interesting way to use this my idea is to have some kind of you know electroacoustic filter or you know un unpowered filter um, it might be more interesting with control voltage versus audio or, or, or a noise source I'm not sure um, but you know do let me know in the comments um, or you know any ideas as a microphone works great actually works great so yesterday I found this lovely pencil tin in the old Oxfam in town and I thought this could be an excellent little contact mic project. Um, so obviously I can mount a contact mic in there, probably onto the lid um, and just solder it to a 3.5 mil adapter and stuff it with some sponges and Bob's your uncle, you've got a cheap microphone. But what I actually want to do is then, so what if I yeah, solder that up, send audio to that, so turn this whole box into a kind of speaker, and then put a second contact mic in there, again wired up, and then, so then I'm just basically using this as some kind of, I don't know, like noisy box that's the plan um is that a good idea don't know anyway let's do some soldering i've just done the soldering um just done the testing good stuff let's do some drilling so we've got the first mic in very good just taped the lid like that. Now, unfortunately, on my other hole, um, I drilled the hole a bit too close to the base because I only measured it on the outside rather than the inside. So that's going to, uh, I might, I don't know, I might re drill that off to the side here and just live with a, with a hole. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I should have planned that a bit better. Okay. How can I how can I tuck those wires off to the side? More tape or just 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 stick it in. Just stick it in, Mark. Okay, just so for these quick tests, you'll be hearing me on this microphone. Um, this is muted, but it's going straight into the board when we've got reverb and delay uh, from the lexicon, just so we can hear the affected sound. So let's hear, and I'll be able to mute this microphone in post. Let's hear what the pencil case microphone sounds like. This is pencil case microphone. Um, um, this is what it sounds like. 
glorious glorious LinkedIn. So, so actually, I actually ended, up, ended up removing the sponge the sponges. Cause cause I don't think I don't the, think the contact, contact microphone, microphone is strong is strong enough to think back. Um, um, and it just and it just and it's also these were also just, these were just these were rubbing these were rubbing way on the inside. It wasn't quite closing. Quite closing. I'll just rest the mic on the body. Sounds alright, doesn't it? Okay. okay. <laughs> I, can, I can still hear it. Me singing to this might be a sample instrument. Um, let's see. Let's see. Right, this does work as a speaker, but it's so quiet. I, I'm just going to turn the gain up on the mic here. I don't know whether you're hearing that. I'm, I'm actually hearing that. Oh, can you hear those drums now? Super tinny. Okay, so an interesting way to process drums, maybe. Just as a test, this is a square wave coming from the dope for basic oscillator. Okay, that works. What will, what will it sound like going through this? Okay, this is weird. I've got the oscillator going straight into the tin, so you can hear the tin's just going because it's coming straight out of the oscillator, right? Because um, I've not got the voltage controlled amplifier involved. So this is this is just go, this is just buzzing away because it's coming straight out. I don't know whether you, yeah, you can, you can probably hear that, but. The output of the second mic goes into the envelope follower and then the audio from the envelope follower goes into the filter. So we can also hear the, the, the signal coming through this when I play. And then this continues to sound as a sort of drone, which is, you know, it's, it's the oscillator doing exactly what it's, uh, it should do, because it's obviously got a note on command and, and there's no envelopes involved. It's just... So is that tin just acting as a high pass filter possibly um i think i need to do some more experiments but i think this works as i expected um but yeah more experiments to follow just as a coder i've just 
unpatched the tin and played the, 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 the modular synth again and it's coming through massively loud um with with the settings of i i i set it on so this is acting more of an attenuator than a fill or a, a filter stroke attenuator which makes sense so i wonder what if I hit this with control voltage or noise or sample and hold, I can use this as a sort of um, electroacoustic attenuator. Hmm. Uh, let's call it a day. Like I say in the in the introduction, if you've got any good ideas how I could improve this or how I could um, use this in my studio experimentally or otherwise. Um, do let me know in the comments. All right, take care, folks. Bye, 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 bye.